Hello and welcome to another unboxing. This is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. You may have seen it, you may not have seen it. I unboxed the Galaxy S6 previously, so I'll go ahead and put a link to that video down below and I'll put it in the cards and everything so you can click in the upper right hand corner to see the cards or in the video description to see this if you wanna know more about this device. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Galaxy S6 Edge. Now, just like the one previously, this is a 32 gigabyte black sapphire version running on Verizon's 4G LTE network. Has all the same kind of stuff in it as you would expect from the S6, but it has a curved edge on it. Now, I should mention this is a review device, so I'm not gonna be getting to keep either one of these. And because it is a review device, it's not gonna be in brand new tip-top shape, tip-top condition. But looking at it, it looks like it's in excellent condition. So you get the phone in this case, you get lots and lots of documentation, you get a little SIM removal tool, you get the power brick, which just like the previous one, is nine volts at 1.67 amps or five volts at two amps, as well as a micro USB cable and the strange pair of headphones that I'm just absolutely never gonna try out because I do not like that kind of tip. It won't stay in my ear. But as you do, let me go ahead and start this little guy up. Before we do, of course, let's just take a little look around the device. It does have that same they call it black sapphire. It's sort of a really dark, dark blue color. I really like that color. And the edges on these, of course, are rounded, so you get a little more screen overlapping and a much, much smaller bezel. Let's just do a little quick compare here. Yeah, the bezel on the edge versus the bezel on the S6, much, much smaller. They do look very similar other than that, especially when you look at them just straight from the back, except of course one says S6 and one says S6 Edge. They do both still have that big Verizon branding on them. And this one does still have the large camera bump as well as the little heart rate sensor and LED flash. And just like the other one, this one has a bit of plastic on the camera lens as well. So let me go ahead and peel that off. And actually it appears this one has some plastic over the little heart rate sensor as well. Not sure why they leave that on there. But anyway, there you go. Uh, definitely a fingerprint magnet, they both are. Uh, but you've got your volume marker here on this side, you've got your power button on this side, your IR blaster and SIM card slot here at the top with a little noise canceling microphone. At the bottom, you've got the single speaker, again, microphone, and then micro USB and three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Let's just go ahead and power this on, see how long it takes to start up. And again, Verizon branding here on the startup. You would expect that though. And just like the S6, this did not take very long at all to start up. This one in particular came 55% battery. The other one I think had 40 something percent. But yeah, let's just double check just for the sake of argument about the phone. Of course, you've got Android 502 there. And there's your little lollipop. Let's see if I do any better this time. If you're watching these videos in rapid succession, you're gonna be disappointed. There you go, there's my fail. I don't know, this is harder than Flappy Birds as far as I'm concerned. I no, I'm gonna won! <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there's your little animation. I will say, first glance at this, I'm, I find it interesting, the, the way the screen kind of goes over the edge. I don't know if this is something I'm actually gonna be using. I think there's a place you can swipe in up here, uh, yeah, and you get your, your most commonly contacted people. I just don't know about all that. I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see what happens. Uh, you can turn it on and turn it off. Uh, not gonna go any, any farther with that today. I just wanted to sort of give you, wow, that's got a lot of stuff pre-installed on it. Candy Crush and Cookie Jam. Maybe that's somebody else that has used this phone just left it on there, because Uber's on there as well. But taking a quick look back at the S6, it's got Candy Crush and Cookie Jam and Panda Pop and Uber and I, yeah, that's lots of stuff on there. I think I'll do a factory reset on both of them before I actually start using them just to make sure I'm looking at a clean setup. But that's gonna be about all for me for this device for today. I'll be using this and the Galaxy S6 over the next few weeks and I'll get back to you with more information about them as it becomes available, maybe do some comparisons. Basically, if there's something you wanna see about the S6 or the S6 Edge, be it test footage from the camera or comparisons as far as benchmarking, comparisons with video games, anything like that, let me know down below. I'll have these devices for a few weeks. But as always, remember if you like this video, hit that like button down below the video. I definitely appreciate it. And subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. Thanks so much for watching though, and I will see you next time.